think I finally got it working. Okay, sorry, I've been having some issues here. So let's get started. I decided I wanted to show y'all how I set up the Cauldron of Myrrh or any of my D20 series. Usually I will split it up in 20 equal sections and I will go ahead and label those sections. This time I went ahead and I, huh, you know what, hi. Welcome. Welcome to my channel. I am a dumpster fire. I am a complete mess. And today kind of proves it. It's been crazy. Today I'm going to do a little crafty vlog. And I'm going to start with explaining how I set this up for um, a TikTok series. In this case, it's going to be for YouTube shorts. I'm, I like my short-term con content. Words. Hard. So, back to what I was saying. I usually split this up into... 20 equal sections like I did this time and I mark them off. This time I decided to do a little more fun and have some theme stickers. This will be the die or the d20 that I'll be using for this series and uh, what I'll do is each day I will record me rolling it and in this case it's the 14. So what I will do is I will go ahead and focus on 14. I would show it beforehand and show you once the drills are on. This is unique because it's not a mystery like my other ones have been. So it's completely exposed. Everybody can see everything because I did the unboxing. So I want to show you all that. And now I'm going to sit here and kit up everything and get things prepared. So let's start with, let's put this up or get it out of the way. And I did stickers because uh, papers tend to come off when you roll it up, which is a thing I recently learned with doing my mystery kit D20 thing. That's a whole nother can of worms I really don't want to go into. Alright, besides that, I've already done my gems flow, so we don't need to see the paper anymore, and I've done that and all that. So that way. So this is my logbook. I have several things in here. Like We can sit there and you can see as I do them, I finish them. I have all my details right here. Like when I finish the grids, how I mark out the grids, what I've done to make them special. I have the colors, the drill count, start and end date, you know, all that fun stuff. Um, excuse you, Burb. This right here, yes, I'm deliberately putting my hand to block that that says. This is my completions. I always put the start on them. So even if I don't complete them, it's kind of like a whip section as well. And I just got that already, and I got it already on camera, and then my SD card died. So, that's a whole thing. But today we're going to be kidding up Cauldron of Myrrh. Let me move my D20 out of the way. And getting that situated. I don't think I need anything from this box right now. I'm going to need that. I don't need my putties yet. I don't really need that. Why do I have two? I will explain here shortly. Sometimes I will pour them into the containers straight from the bag. Other times I will go ahead and I will use a tray to pour them in. But I always have a tray underneath to catch them. That's what that's about. Oh, I do not have any dryer sheets. I hope there's no static. And don't mind my parakeet. Her name is Burb, and she's kind of mad at me because I have her cage closed right now. Ooh, this is going to get loud. As if she's not loud enough. Yes, I'm not opening your cage. Uh, let me open this up. Let me get this situated. I'm just going to set this off to the side. I like to throw my trash in it if I remember to do so. <laughs> So don't mind Burb. She's mad. Normally, she has her cage wide open. But about, about a week ago, I was moving her cage around and cleaning it. And put her on the ground. Put her cage on the ground. And she decided, oh, I'm going to fly off while a brand new kitten is in the house. And the kitten got a hold of her. And I got some scratches on my hands from it. From grabbing the kitten and forcing the kitten to let it out of its mouth. And... Oh, it was not good. Okay. I need my pen. I just put it out of the way, didn't I? Okay, let me... So, I've already pre-labeled these. These are sticking up because you can't take them off and reposition them. And I messed up with the entire first row. 
and had to reposition them and relabel them. And so now those are going to be permanently coming up. But I realize that that's only a problem with the ones that I've took off. So, this is a need. So we're going to prep the drills. That's what we're going to do. Let me show you what I do. So we had all our colors, which normally you can see them all, but that one decided to lay down. And what I like to do is I like to label the bags so I know what where they go and all that. Let me reposition. Oh goodness. Everything's in the way. I'm right handed, so I don't like the fact that my coffee's over there. I'm right handed. And so it's better to have the box over to my left. Give me that. That's my coaster. And yes, I know. I know about styrofoam. But I have a, a spill problem. I like to, oh, please don't tell me I just wrote on my neck. Again, this is a dumpster fire. And the bird is just laughing at me. So 310 is number 10. So what I'll do is I will go through every one of these strands and mark where the numbers are. Oh, well. And then I will order it from there. And yeah, I know I can do it by DMC, but this is easier for me. And when it's multiple bags, it makes it a lot easier too, especially since I put the full DMC, our full DAC label. And this is pretty much specific to DAC on how I kit up. Uh, but most of them are similar. We are going to be having conversations with Burb today. That's what she is. She's been quiet. And then when I tried to record this the first time, before the camera messed up, she went on an entire rant. I was like the worst person in the world. Well, I need a pair of scissors. Not this pair. I am going to be using this pair. Um, cover reminder, please. Oh, where's my good pair? I just had it earlier. Do, 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 do. This is not my good pair, but this will work. I have a four pack of scissors that match in four different sizes. But since I can't find the big ones for that one, I'll just use these. Also, while I mark them, I cut them out. So they're all little individual things and I will pile them in groups of 10. If that makes sense. Not groups of 10, but like 1 through 10, 11 through 20, stuff like that. So it just makes it easier for me to organize it. And actually, usually I don't separate them when it's two like that. I don't know why I did it then. Probably because I didn't realize it. My mind's not here. My mind's not here. What is that? 34. I thought about doing all of this beforehand, but I was not too sure about when I'd get around to recording this, and now it's 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and my kids will be home soon. Uh, that did not go there. That's a 34. I don't have a pile for that yet. I'm just going to cut these out and make it easier instead of having the string right cut, stuff like that. I know, I didn't show all the colors or anything during the... Um, unboxing. The unboxing was a complete disaster. Kind of like this is. Probably even more so. But look at that. That's what I was trying to tell you all about ABs. But that, that's a camera. I always have issues with camera. But yeah. You can see the ABs. They're pretty. That's that, uh, I don't know. Somebody else. That's that iridescent coating. This one has three ABs. ABs. There's another one. No, it has four ABs. Why did I write three down? Oh, I think it says it only has three, like on DAC's website. I'm not too sure, or I don't know. Hold on. Please hold. Yeah, it says including three ABs. So DAC did it. Here, let me go to my wish list, and I'll show you. So you can see what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about. 
Yeah, I favor everything I buy so I can find it easier. Yeah. So it's going to have an X through it because it's not in stock right now. But right there it says square with 50 colors including three ABs. So that's why I have three in my head. I'm going to have to update my logbook. Yeah. Oh, I'll do it later. I'll make a note of it later. I don't know. Mine's not working today. I am just, I'm not prepared to do anything. It's been one of those days, one of those weeks, one of those lifetimes. I don't know. So I went to go start recording this, and everything was fine. It was about 10 minutes in. I had done the logbook stuff. I had showed off the canvas, showed, shown off the canvas, stuff like that. You know, I did all that. And then it goes, automatically stop recording. I'm like, okay, why'd you, okay, where did it stop recording at? So I can look this up so I can know where to backtrack to. And so I went to go look at the video and the, the entire, it says video can't be played. I'm like what? So I went to go look at the SD card and the SD card does not, could not be read. I go, you just corrupted my entire SD card. What? The flip. So I got mad. I didn't throw anything. I didn't yell or anything, which is shocking for me. Normally, that's where I would go straight to. You know? But no, I sat there and I calmly went and I found the cord. Actually, <laughs> I had found the cord earlier today and set it aside because for some reason I knew I would need it. It's a cord I used for streaming when I was using this camera for streaming. And what it is, is it's an extension cable on top of the proper... Why am I doing An extension cable on top of the proper... Uh, USB extension cable and USB cord. Sorry. Wow. So we can go long distances. Because uh, right now, what I'm doing is I am sending the camera to my laptop at, like, and using XSplit to record. Be because of everything. Like, I'm not going to sit there and spend money on an SD card right now, even though I am going to need that. It's just, right this second, why go out and spend money if I don't really have it to spend on that frivolous stuff? You know, because that's life right now. And it sucks. Oh, well. So, I was like, I have a current situation, or not current situation, I have a current method that I can work on because of the fact that I had all this stuff in the first place and a few months ago I went and I organized all of my old camera and streaming stuff and all that, like, I know where my GoXLR is, I know where everything is right now. And so I organized all that a few months ago and I knew exactly where to look to find um, a lapel mic that's what I'm using right now because the audio was so bad. I mean, the audio is not going to be much better, but it was so bad in that video. I had to do so much work just to bring that background sound down because I'm not going to turn off my AC or heater depending on the day. You know, I'm not going to turn that off just to record a video. Screw that. You know, it's too hot for that or too cold for that. In this case, it's too cold for that. That's why I got a hoodie on. And actually, it's like torn because since I go outside a lot, there will be days that it's There'll be days that the AC is on, but I have a hoodie on because I'm go because it's cold outside. It's hot in the house, but cold outside because I go outside to smoke, which that has greatly reduced my smoking. Thank God. Yeah. So a lot of things have happened in the past year since I have been live. Um, little known fact: the last day I was live was July first of last year. So here we are, about to be October, and now I'm making a YouTube video. That's weird. And, you know, I, I moved. Everybody knew I was moving. I moved halfway across the country. I went from San Antonio to Alabama. So it took me a year to get into this box. Like I said, a few months ago, I organized all those wires because they were all in a cardboard box. So I was trying to get rid of the cardboard boxes and because I was trying to organize this room because I'm using it as a studio. 
And when I mean studio, I'm not meaning like, oh, it's a streaming and a YouTube studio. No, no. Not even close. More like a um, crafting studio? Either way, I sat there and I went through and I organized everything. And so today when I needed the lapel mic, it was right where I needed it. And I'm like, oh, I might as well get the continuous power at the same time. Well, it wasn't in that box. But I remembered seeing it while cleaning. I remembered seeing it while cleaning. And so I went into the closet where most things go to die. And there was half of the continuous power cord. The most important part of the continuous power cord was missing. The faux battery. So we are running on battery power today. So, yeah. Which means... This may not be, like, a full video or whatever. Like, there might be a big cut at one point, like, because of the fact that it cuts out for dead battery. I don't know. But, either way. So, after the SD card and everything died, for some reason when I was going through this container, I decided to grab that wire. I'm like, it'll be good to have it. And here we are. I had to load up X or install XSplit on my laptop. I had to get it all set up. Yes, I have one of my computers set up. I have my gaming PC set up, but I don't have my streaming PC set up. And I don't really want to install XSplit on said streaming PC or gaming PC. Even though I don't use gaming PC to, to game. It's weird. Yeah. I haven't really gamed much. Like, I've played a little bit of Sims. Everybody plays a little bit of Sims. You gotta, you gotta play some Sims, you know? I play a little bit of Sims and stuff. Oh, look. Another AD. I love that pink. It's like a bubble gum. But. And maybe a little bit of cookie glitter and... Clicker? Clicker? Not glitter. Wow. <laughs> and, of course, Raid. We all know I love my Raid. That picture of Instagram. Or I put on Instagram earlier about having nothing charged. Yeah, that was Raid. But I haven't really, like, I haven't sat down and played a game. Like, I bought, no, I was given Power Sim, Power Power Wash Simulator, Power Wash Simulator, yeah. I was given that, and I played maybe a few hours of it. And, of course, you know, you've got to play your house flipper. But in the end... We're talking about some casual style gaming, not sitting down and enjoying yourself. And because I'm not getting any time to myself. Look at me right now. I'm more worried about when are the kids going to get home? How long do I have to do this? And I told my mother I was recording, so she wouldn't sit there and bother me. I love my mama. But <laughs> I am now her caretaker. That's a whole nother spiel I'm not going into right now. And now I'm worried about the audio because I didn't set up the audio specifically for this. So I'm either going to be too loud or too quiet. And I, I, I can see my laptop screen from here so I can see the peaks and all that. Because I wasn't going to bring it to my diamond painting table. Yeah, this is a diamond painting table. Actually, it's more like a craft table. I don't just diamond paint on it. I also, um, I mess with the resin. I do some painting. Not like painting, like I, I'm an artist. But, um, when I ink dice. Why did I just mention that? But yeah, when I ink dice, I'll, I'll do it sitting right here. Yeah, that's a whole new hobby I picked up. Not the dice making, you know. I've always thought that was cool. I didn't think it was possible. Like, I didn't think I could have the means to make dice. Like, I thought it was really hard. I didn't realize all the stuff that went through it. I thought, you know, I need a manufacturer. Like, there's no way to actually make dice that are balanced. Nay, nay. There is. It's called resin. And then I got really, 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 really into resin. Oh, there's number 50. Like, really into it. Here, before I open up the next strand, or get the next strand set up, I'll show you. Uh, da, 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 da. 
Well, here, I'll show you this one because these are new. Like, if you've been to my stream before, you know exactly what that is. That's my heart emote, and I've made a cover minder out of it. But this is more than just resin. So this is a horrible example. I'm a horrible person. That was just the closest thing to me. And now that I say that, no. This was the closest thing to me. This is my um, wax minder. I sell these on my shop. But they're cover minders. But the main point of them is... Here, I'll show you. Maybe? No, here we go. So what you do is you get your wax on your pen. Like you... I, I use... um super sticky patty wax it's what i use but you get your wax in your pen and you know you get it and biggest problem when you do that you got all this residue so the typical standard way was to sit there and get a car piece of cardboard glue some drills on it and rub your drills off that way i was like i don't like that you know so i had a bunch of extra drill drills and everything so i decided to try something and i did this you know and i'm like oh Oh, and I can make it nice and cute. So I made little cover minders that are also wax minders. You know, you mind your wax and you mind your, you know, your covers with them. He's my friend. He's my friend. This one specifically is not for sale because it's one of the test ones. Um, right behind me is ones I've been working on. That thing just took me right here. Like, a lot of these need polished and everything else, but see how later on you have them all with pink paws? I decided to make them more uniform with little pink paws. That's my favorite color right there is that one. That's why I kind of like the blue one. I like the red one. Either way, all these guys are for sale. These ones in the corner up here, they need further polishing, which I'm probably going to do more polishing to all of them. Oh, there's cat hair on it. Great. It's yeah. a whole nother deal. A whole nother spiel. But yeah, so I went ahead and I got into um, resin making. And I've been raising farm animals. And my pets are driving me crazy. <laughs> and I'm rambling. I'm always rambling. But, you, you know, you do something for so long. Like streaming. I've been on and off streaming since January of 2011. Like, I can't tell you what my first stream was like. I know it didn't have a camera. I know I was raiding on WoW. You know, it was gaming. And I've been doing gaming content for, you know, 11 years. And this includes, you know, just content in general for 11 years. Because even when I haven't been streaming or anything, I, I'll put TikToks out. I will do some Instagram photos. I will do tweets. All of that. All of that is creating content. So I've been creating content for 11 years. 11 and a half years now. And it's just... I wasn't streaming. I wasn't doing anything. I wasn't talking to people. I was doing the lonely side of creating content. That's what sucks about short form content like TikTok is it's very lonely. And I was like, well, I want to stream, but I don't have the ability to stream right now because I'm working on getting a job. We won't even go into that, but I'm working on getting a job. I have a road trip I got to take here in the next couple of weeks because I got to go back to Texas. Um, it's my son's birthday. And... Where he's got a track meet that I need to be at. That's another situation I don't want to go into. But um, Noah is currently working on selling the house and hasn't sold it. And I keep telling him that Josh needs to be here. Josh needs to be with me and how well Sam and Michael are doing here and all that. But no, he needs Josh to help him with the house to sell it so he's over there but there's no way I am missing my firstborn's 16th birthday hell no hell no so I'm driving out to Texas and I'm gonna go see my son on his birthday I don't care I don't care cause that's my baby no, that's where my mom usually comes in saying that's not your baby Michael's your baby look all three of them are my babies 
all trio. Just a little. What is this? 992. Okay, now I'm wishing I didn't block out the number. Or, yeah, the DMC. 992 is 38. Shush you! Ma'am! She's got sass. She's always giving me sass. Always giving me lip. Ugh, six. You know, I have full intention of not being able to have enough to talk about and have to sit there and fast forward all of this and everything else, but there's actually so much I can talk about. I don't know where to start from. Oh, I, I, like, I don't want to talk about mindless, pointless crap. I mean, I can. I'm really good at it. That's my friend. Like, poor, poor Tipsy. The whole person that got me really interested in doing this diamond painting. Poor Tipsy. She's, like, received, like, 20 texts from me today. Maybe not 20, but it feels like it. And if it feels like for me, then I know she's probably going, Girl, we're dealing with a hurricane down here. Why the hell are you texting me? And it's frivolous bullshit. Like, not having the cord. Like, I can't find the cord and having to order another one and then like not charging anything like a lot of my Instagram photos went straight tipsy first I'm like I'm SOL and she's laughing at me because what are friends for but to laugh at you right oh here's the last baby it's uh, a green one I don't know if you can see that it's pretty. It's green. And it's number is three. It's over there. 356. It's what? It's what? It's what? It's what? It's what? 18. Can you tell I have that streamer mentality? And I'm not talking about the crazy mentality, which we know have. Okay, I feel you vibrating. That's my phone. And I'm going to ignore it because I'm a millennial and I don't answer phone calls. Ask anybody. Even if you know me. Why Why are you calling me? Text me. Unless it's important or unless you want to talk. Like actual talk. Don't call me. And even then, then warn me before you call me if you want to actually talk. Like say, hey, you want to talk? And then call me or have me call you or I'll call you. You know what I mean? Don't freaking call me out of the blue. I am not that person. I do not do well with people. And that's why streaming was always really good for me because guess what you don't have to deal with when you stream? People. Oh, this is where you have people who think <laughs> so much differently. But streaming is all about the people. Look, 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 look. Get me right. Let me get this right. Yes. You do deal with people and talk to people and whatever with streaming, but you're not seeing them. You know, you get dressed, you take a shower, well, you take a shower, then you get dressed, you know, and then you go live, you talk to people. As soon as you're all peopled out, you're like, okay, I'm good, bye. You know? Maybe that's why maybe YouTube will be better for me, because of the fact that you don't even have that whole people aspect. Yes, you're talking to people, and you're being social, and your bird is yelling at you for talking to everybody but her. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. You know? But, let's go. Okay, let's organize this. This is 1 through 10. 10 being, we're going to put this one off to the side. Because we already have 1. 9. How do I have two 9s? That's not 9. That is definitely eight. Wow. See, and in the process, you get to sit there and check to see if you forked up. And see what you're missing. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We'll set these right here because those are the first ones we're going to be doing. Okay. I see your teens here. So where's 20? Where's 20? I have two 19s. Oh, yeah. That's the one that I cut prematurely, so that's fine. 
It's funny, I said, oh, don't cut them. Well, don't cut them while you're sitting there and numbering them to separate them or whatever. You cut them, you cut one off because you're not going to be pouring two into a container and shove the other one off to the side. All right, where's 20? Oh, there it is. 20, 19, 18, 17. It's a smile I'm ignoring you. <laughs> it's funny. I go to talk to her directly. She'll shut up. I will get up and I will harass you. Okay. Those set. Be good. Okay. Thirty. She's just gonna sing for us. Mental note: Put background music in this video. I'm not going to. Yeah, I sat there and I worked a couple hours and I made a really, really bad intro. And I'm like, why did I do this? It does not seem like it was worth the hour or two that I spent on it. Like, it took two hours to get reacquainted with um, After Effects. And once I got reacquainted with After Effects, it took me maybe half hour to do the intro. And I'm looking at it and I'm like, oh, this looks horrible. This looks horrible. But hey, you know. Forty. I know. Find it. Thirty-nine. Thirty-eight. This has to be still loud to people. Thirty-seven. Thirty-six. Thirty-five. Thirty-four. Three, three, two, three, one. Actually, let's do the diamond painting, and then I have a little bit more room. I'm just gonna. Woo! I was gonna put it on the floor, and then I thought of the cat. They've been playing with this roll of washi tape all day. I had to pick it up off the floor, and then this one fell on the floor, and Zelda got a hold of it. Right now, Zelda and Link are sleeping. Yeah, my kittens are Zelda and Link. They're not mine. One is Sam's. That's Zelda. Samantha is my daughter. She's my middle child. She's my angel. I love her. <laughs> the other one is... Why did I not write it twice? The other one is Link is my son's, and he was dropped off here? About a week and a half ago, right before the burb attacked him, or he attacked the burb, but he was dropped off here, and I tell him, I go, I tell him, Michael, he's not staying. He's not staying. We have five cats in this house, if you include him. That doesn't include the cats we have at the farm. We have two properties, but two, I don't know how the camera's angling, right? We have two properties, so it's like, he is not staying. I go, he will get up to wait and he will be at the farm with the rest of the cats because we have Cleo. I don't know if you remember her. She is moving to the farm. Meow Meow is our nursery barn cat for lack of a better term. She is outdoors except to eat and she takes care of the nursery animals and since she keeps possums off the porch and stuff like that because we have a farm nursery in the backyard. So she's technically, we shouldn't really count her as five, we should still count it as four. But Zelda is a strictly inside cat, so she can't go outside. Link grew up outside before he came here. Big difference. And then you have Hansel. And Hansel is my cat. And since I'm the one changing litter boxes, and I'm the one cleaning up after these cats and everything else, of course my cat ain't going to the farm. But basically, we're trying to knock it down to where there's only two cats inside. And Hansel's not even inside all the time. Um, it, it's usually just Zelda inside all day. You know, Cleo spends half the day outside. And Meow Meow only comes in to eat. She was another one dropped off on us. Yeah, people drop cats off at which Meow Meow was supposed to go to the farm, but like I said, um, the one day that she was inside, like she was inside almost all night, 
I go outside to have a cigarette because I smoke on the back porch. I go outside to have a cigarette and there's a possum. And I have baby chickens, I got baby ducks, I got rabbits, I got a bunch of things on the back porch. And my female rabbits run free on the back porch. My males are in cages. But, and so I can't have these possums. I can't have a possum specifically on my back porch. And I'm like, well, maybe it's a one-time thing. Maybe it's a one-time thing. And about a week later, she's inside again eating and I go outside and there's another possum but this is only when she's inside eating for long periods of time like she was inside for over an hour I'm like what the hell no static yay just take that remember the bag the girls came into Boom. just throw that trash right in there it's trying to fall off the table the way I am going to go ahead and put all of these in jars because it is 2 30 right now I don't know how long I've been recording I know it's at least been half an hour because I looked and saw it being two o'clock but the kids will be home soon and because Sam walks in the door in like 15 minutes so I'm going to continue doing this but I'm going to put in a whole different clip and time lapse it and I will come back when I'm done and talk to y'all again. So give me a minute.
So all that's situated. Pins go in there. The only thing I really need out, besides the trays and the cover minder, is the putty. Technically, I need all that out. And I'm just going to store the rest of these in here. And yes, I know I'm rambling. This is just random. It's um, one of the empty Harbor Freight containers because I got this big container. I believe I got the idea from Laura from Diamond Paintings with Laura. Or by Laura. I believe she's the one who mentioned this on her streams. I'm like, let me see. And I went and I'm like, oh, yes. And I got two of them. downside with that. Oh no, this one's, it's not being blocked. It's, sometimes with these cheaper things you get things stuck. Okay, so that's all ready for Cauldron of Myrrh. To start that stuff. Oh my god, I didn't want to close. And I'm all cleaned up. And I'm happy. I don't need all this anymore. Either way, thank you guys for hanging out with me. Thanks for dealing with me and my rambling and everything else. Um, what's all that stuff that I, I don't, I don't really, um, YouTube. There's not, I don't know the culture around here. I'm used to the Twitch culture. Net! <laughs> Sorry. It's a net. And like, like sitting there going, oh my god, you have killed me. You have killed me. I know I did. I know I did. Boring violence. Look at that. I didn't even have to touch it. So, um, don't forget to like, subscribe, come back if you enjoyed this dumpster fire of a video, and I, hopefully I will have more up soon, and I'm going to be putting this entire series on YouTube shorts, but I don't think I'll be doing a post review, so we'll see, we'll see. Either way, I will catch you guys next time.